Hello everyone, it's the Upfront Simulator here, and today we're going to show you guys how you can better use Quadtricks by XM. Specifically, we're going to go into the process of how you can create a survey using one of the many templates that they have on their catalog. Now, the great thing about Quadtricks is that they provide a really diverse portfolio for you to choose from. So if you were to hit the Create a Project and scroll around, you'll see that there are a bunch of project templates for you to pick from. Depending on what you need, you can simply click for more details on any of them and they will provide you the details on what they have in this template. A lot more on the left hand side, they currently categorize or organize every template they have based on what you might need in terms of what you're measuring, the department you're measuring, the use case, the XM category, what's included, and the type. So let's say you want to create a survey for Cus or employees this time, the filter will then apply automatically up here. So let's just remove customers so that once this filter has been tagged up here, every template which is connected to this tag or employees option in this case will then be categorized right here for you automatically. You can also hit the see all button if you want to see all the options they have on this filter. And if you don't like the filter you have selected, you can just clear it. Also, the great thing about Qualtrics is that you can select multiple filters at once. So if you were to hit employees and I want them to be in the human resources department, also as you can tell, if the selected filter doesn't actually have a form with a specific tag, it won't actually allow you to select it. So in this case, we'll have to select human resources. And then let's head back to project templates. And here, all of these templates here satisfy these two filters which are employees under the human resources department next thing you're going to want to do is then just basically select which template you want to choose we're going to go with employee satisfaction and just to make sure that we're happy with this template we're going to hit more details so we can read as to what it is best used for and what's already included inside so within this one template it is best used for giving your employees the opportunity to weigh in on their workload career progression engagement workspace and more and within there's already a pre-built survey so let's get started on this since we're happy with it and as it goes with creating a new project you're first going to have to come up with a title so i'm going to name this cafe employee satisfaction survey and i'm going to create that project Following this, at the beginning of every template, you're always going to see this little instruction. You can always delete this question, and then everything following it will have all of the questions you might need for your survey. As you can see, it's already pretty well done on its own. So if you're already happy with it as is, you can just delete this first section by hitting this red minus button on the left side. It will automatically delete it for you. And that's it. Unless you want to start adding more questions, which you can do so by do this new button, or if you want to move questions around by just dragging them around like this, this will basically be what your survey template will look like. And if you're okay with the changes or without having to change anymore, you can just hit preview so that you can view it from the perspective of whoever might be answering your survey. So hit next. And these will show all of the questions and the answers. You can also mess around with the phone version on the right side. Hit next. Right up until we get to the last question. So let's just review this really quickly. done and that's it so that's how you can basically start using the templates on Qualtrics hopefully this helps you better manage any data collection you might be doing thank you so much for watching our videos be sure to like and subscribe and if you need any more help when it comes to Qualtrics be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below see you next time